Hey guys, I'm in Rhode Island and I've got a new uh, new product I'm gonna try out here. It was sent to me from Justin uh, K4QCD. He sells these on Etsy and it is called the Dually. So it's a kit, you can build it. On one side you see it's a 49 to one un, -un. On the other side you flip it over, it's a nine to one un, -un. It's got a little counterpoise spot right there for it and uh, looks like something really cool. I'm really excited about it. Um, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna build one of my favorite antennas, a vertical half wave for uh, the 20 meter band. So roughly about a 33 foot piece of wire and then um, use it for a little bit, check SWR and all that good stuff to see how good this thing works. And then I'm gonna take it down, chop uh, about four feet off and make it a 29 foot random wire antenna at vertical as well. Like I'm at, uh, this is called Rocky Point State Park. This is Narragansett Bay here in Rhode Island behind me. So I'll be operating for the first time as K4 OGO stroke whiskey one. We're gonna do a, probably a POTA activation. I'll see if there's any DX going on, but really wanna see how good the dually from K4 QCD is. Stick around. Okay, here's the setup. These are my G90 here on the rocks. You can see the rocky, uh, rocky here right on Narragansett Bay. Um, just using my little small uh, six amp hour LiPo 4 battery. And then over here on the rocks, what I did, I've got a 50 foot coax, of uh, the chameleon coax with the choke, down to the dually. And I'm actually going to start on the 49 to one side. So this is a vertical a vertical half wave for 20 meters using my 10 meter dx commander pole and some 20 gauge wire uh there you go that's it um i am going to do something a little different i don't normally do i'm going to uh use a 17 foot uh one counterpoise there into the salt water now normally i do that for random wires i don't usually do it for my um my halfway verticals but um hey let's just see how it goes there you go there's the antenna and uh i don't know if i'll have to trim much if i do just use the uh the tuner but um here we are narragansett bay rhode island first uh first time out portable in rhode island the ocean state where the state's made for me let's go have some fun well off to a good start uh SWR was a perfect one-to-one, -one, so I'm going to spot myself and uh, call CQ Poda here. Let's 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 make it happen. It's Kilo for Oscar Golf Oscar Stroke Whiskey One calling CQ CQ Poda. Whiskey Four Sierra Victor Five Nine into the park. Thanks for coming back. Hey, thanks for the 5-4 in the East Tennessee. I just got a vertical. I'm right next to uh, Narragansett Bay, right by the salt water, with uh, 20 watts of the G90 and a uh, half-wave vertical cut for uh, the 20 meter band. You're not doing bad, especially today. If the band can show up and down, it's hard to make the contact. 73 to you, thanks for your activation. Thank you, yeah, the bands are pretty bad today, so I was glad to get to Tennessee there for sure. Thanks, thanks so much, 73, my friend. Kilo four, Oscar Golf Oscar Stroke, Whiskey One. A uh, QRZ. November 5, Sierra Radio, Charlie. Roger, Radio Charlie. Sorry about that. You're about a 5.8. Five, 5.8 eight, five, eight into Park US 2879, which is Rocky Point State Park in Rhode Island on Narragansett Bay. QSL, QSL. I got you at about a 5.5 five, five down here in Arkansas. The band is doing its thing. Have fun out there and 7 three. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, the band is really crazy right now. Thanks for uh, the coming back to me there for sure. 73, Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar Stroke, Whiskey 1, QRZ. Kilo, Foxtrot 0, Mike Sierra, Kilo. Kilo, Foxtrot 0, uh, come again, I'm sorry. Kilo, Foxtrot 0, Mike Sierra, Kilo. Mike Sierra, Kilo, there you go. You're about a 5'9". You have a great, great sounding signal here in the park. U.S. 2879 Rocky Point State Park in Rhode Island. Copy that. You're a 5'3 in the Sierra Delta. QSL. Hey, QSL, thank you so much for South Dakota. Wow, that's good to know. Uh, the band's really not been that great today. Good to get out that way. Thank you, 73. Kilo 4, Oscar Golf, Oscar Stroke, Whiskey 1, QRZ. 
Okay, I'm on the uh, nine to one side now. What I did was just, uh, I just dropped the, uh, the DX Commander down and trimmed it down, trimmed the wire down to uh, about four feet. So it's 29 foot in the air. And as I said before, got the old uh, 17 foot long counterpoise here into the Narragansett Bay. Let's go see how this works. Okay, not bad. Uh, SWR was about 1.6 to one which for a random wire, that's great. That's because the whole idea here is to get it uh, in an area where I can use it ATU on every band and do it. So good uh, SWR across uh, just about all the bands. So um, we'll, we'll keep trying 20. 20 is weird, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Park to park. Yeah, this is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Stroke Whiskey 1 at Park US 2879 Rocky Point, Rhode Island. You're about a 5'7", five, 5'7 seven, five, seven here. Roger, thanks for the 5'6 into Michigan. The band's kind of up and down, but good to make contact with you. 73, my friend. Yeah, let me have that park number. I'm sorry. One five two five. Roger, Roger. Seventy three. Thank you, Tim. The name here is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango. I am in Rhode Island on Narragansett Bay in Rhode Island. Hey, thank you for taking the call. 73. 73. This is Whiskey 7, Alpha Alpha, W7 OIA, OCQ for the Lucent Parker Air, Special Event Station, Washington State. Park to park. Okay, I got two guys in there. Let's do the park to park first. This is the track of one. Uniform Whiskey, go ahead. This is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar Stroke Whiskey 1 at US. 2879 in Rhode Island. You're 5'9. Great signal. Uh, Walter, thank you. Okay, uh, you are a 5'2, 5'3, five, five, I've got a Kilo 4 um, then something. Go ahead. Yeah, Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, and I'm in Rhode Island, so stroke whiskey 1. So K4 OGO stroke W1. QSL, QSL, I am 2879, 2879 in Rhode Island. Oh, Roger, 2879. Sorry about that. Thanks for the contact. Thank you so much. 73. This really is a cool park. This was a, uh, an amusement park from the mid 1800s all the way up to uh, 1994. And uh, you can even see some of the remnants of the old amusement park here. This old sign. This is the old uh, trolley. Uh, trolley line I guess or lift line that was up there that's pretty cool but um yeah pretty cool park and a uh, pretty neat place to activate for sure um I tell you what I want to find out and I'm gonna go check out is uh whatever that is there that's promising uh let's go check it out okay so this was a circle swing this was the bottom of the circle swing uh September what 1906 and a patent for this pretty cool this park uh, became a state park in 2014 after the land acquisition and everything from the state of rhode island but um how cool is that because um i think i'm gonna come back and clip a wire to that thing and see if the g90 will tune it and uh and what it'll do look at some dimensions on it it looks like it's probably about i don't know maybe 75 feet high maybe more maybe 80. So uh, maybe we can tune that thing and uh, play radio with it. What a cool find. Wow, what a cool, cool uh, piece of equipment here. I, uh, I'm i so pleased with it. Um, not great band conditions, but um, this thing was awesome for this right here, for pod activations. And if you want to switch up, try other antennas, um, I can think right off the top of my head, 
Uh, with the 49 to one, you, I, the antenna I just made, the vertical, um, approximately 65 feet, and you can make an infed half wave for, uh, for 40 through 10, or in sloper, however you want to do it, the, the standard infed half wave you can make out of this thing. With the nine to one side, um, really, there's so much that can be done with that, uh, with random wires. 29 feet, 35 and a half feet, uh, what, 41, 49, and on and on, long wires, verticals, slopers. I mean, this thing is really a whole lot in uh, one little piece of equipment here. It's two unons in one, so um, really cool. And um, Justin did a great job designing this. And um, uh, K4 QCD, he is, uh, he's got an Etsy uh, store. I'll get a link to the Etsy store here and um, let you see it. Man, it is hot. I'm out in the heat. I can't believe it. I'm a Southern boy and up here in New England and I'm hot. <laughs> but anyway, um, it is uh, middle of the day. Bands weren't that great. Um, so even said, I, I want to get, we will be using this. We, I will be using this some more here. This is perfect for me for traveling. It's nice, nice size too as well. If you want to build something, I highly, I'm recommending this, and not just because he contacted me and, and, and gave it to me. He actually built this one. I just don't have time to build them, but um, I'm <laughs> I'm so glad he did. I'm impressed. I may get one and build it myself now just for the experience of building one, but um, really cool antenna. Highly recommend it. Um, this is a first outing here in Rhode Island. I'm going to be up here working for a little while, so uh, that was fun. Cool park. And I'm looking forward to uh, other parks and other places and getting down by all oh, this salt water. It's the ocean state, baby. And I am here, coastal waves and wires. We're going to have a lot of fun. Hey, if you're into portable ops and uh, occasionally I'll show you something new, a new antenna, uh, something like this, something like the, uh, the dually here, um, please like and subscribe. And uh, hey, go check this thing out, guys. It's, a, it's, it's worth it. It really is. Until next time, I'm Walt K4OGO. 73, my friends.